Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 16 that is struggle for freedom in India. So let's kick start. When do we celebrate our Republic Day? Dash. India's independence movement has in its fold these events. The British rule, establishment of the Congress, freedom movements by Mahatma Gandhi and finally independent India with Jawaharlal Nehru as a first Prime Minister. Concept of independence. The period after the Great Revolt of 1857 was an eventful period in the Indian independence movement. Many leaders and reformers emerged at the national and provincial levels who made the Indians aware of their rights. They include great men like Swami Vivekanand, Ramakrishna Paramhansa, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, Rabindranath Tagore and Dada Bhai Naroji. They fill the Indians with self-confidence for removal of social evils and making India free from the foreign rule. Lokmanya Tilak was a leader made of special metal who was radical in his views. The British arrested him. When produced in the court, he declared, Swaraj is my birthright. This concept of Swaraj later became the main focus and philosophy of India's independence movement for the decades to come. Indian National Congress in 1885, at the suggestion of Alan Octavian Hume, a retired British civil servant, 73 Indian delegates met in Bombay, now Mumbai. They found the Indian National Congress. The delegates include people from professionals such as law, teaching and journalism. A few years before, Dada Bhai Naroji had formed the Indian National Association. It merged with the National Congress to make a bigger party. In the beginning, the Congress was not very active and used to give suggestions to the rulers of the British Raj. The suggestions generally were related to civil rights and opportunities for Indians in government jobs. Though the Congress claimed to represent Indians from all classes and castes, it represented only the educated and higher class people. It almost failed to attract Muslims who mostly had become distrustful of Hindu social reformers. Now children, it's time for tits and bits. Dada Bhai Naroji and Gopal Krishna Gokhale were moderate leaders. Lala Lajpat Rai, Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Bipin Chandrapal called Lal Bal Pal were the three popular leaders of the radical group. All India Muslim League Sir Syed Ahmed Khan started a separate movement for the upliftment of Muslims. In 1875, he founded a college in Aligarh, which in 1921 became Aligarh University. Muslims formed the All India Muslims League in 1906, considering the Congress as completely unsuitable for Indian Muslims. Now, Partition of Bengal. In 1905, Lord Curzon, the Viceroy of Governor General of India, divided Bengal into two provinces, Eastern Bengal and Assam with its capital at Dhaka and West Bengal with its capital in Calcutta, now Kolkata. The people became angry at that partition and coined the phrase, divide and rule. For the policy practiced by the British Empire, almost all leading intellectual including Rabindranath Tagore raised voice against the partition which was eventually dropped. Now, World War I. During the First World War, Indians supported the United Kingdom. About 13 lakh Indian soldiers went to fight in the war. Many rich people and Princes donated money and materials to the war funds of the United Kingdom. To meet the expenses of the war, taxes were increased in India and prices of common things went high. The people of India became restless. Rolect Act 
After World War I, the high number of dead and wounded soldiers, inflation and heavy taxation affected the Indian masses in a big way. And unrest began to mount which worried the British rulers. It led to the introduction of Rollet Act in India. The act gave the Viceroy government great powers that include silencing the press detaining the political activist without trial and arrest without warrant of any individual suspected of treason. The act sparked huge anger throughout India and it was called the Black Act. The Jallianwala Bagh Messier In protest to the Rolex Act, people of Amritsar observed a peaceful Hartal on 30th March and 6th April 1919. The government used force to curb the protest. On April 10, 1919, two popular leaders, Dr. Satyapal and Dr. Kichlu were deported from Amritsar. As a reaction, the protester committed act of arson and attacked a few Europeans. On 12th April 1919, an order was issued by the government banning the meeting and gathering of the people. In Amritsar on 13th April 1919, about 10,000 Indians had assembled in the Jallianwala Bagh to protest against the Rolex Act and to celebrate the festival of Besakhi. The British military commander, Brigadier General, Reginald Dyer ordered his troops to fire at the civilians in the Jallianwala Bagh without any warning. According to historians, 379 people were killed and about 1130 were injured in the firing. The firing incident is known as the Jallianwala Bagh Messiah, rise of Mahatma Gandhi, known as the father of nation. Gandhiji played a key role in winning freedom for India. He introduced the concept of Ahinsa and Satyagraha, which he used to fight the mighty British Empire. Born on 2nd October 1869 at Porbanda, Gandhiji completed his law degree in 1891 in England and returned to India. It was in South Africa that Gandhiji became a Mahatma from Mohandas. His life in South Africa underwent a change when he fought against racism and defend the rights of Indians there. When he returned to India in 1915, few people knew him. Very soon he became popular in India due to his simplicity and leadership abilities. Tribute to Gandhi Paying tribute to Mahatma Gandhi on his death, famous scientist Albert Einstein said, Generations to come will scars believe that such a man as this walked the earth in flesh and blood. Now, non cooperation movement 1920-22 After the World War I, the breaking down of democracy dream and the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy caused a lot of disappointment and anger among Indians. So in 1920, the Indian National Congress decided to launch non-cooperation movement against the British government under the leadership of Gandhiji. Aims This movement aimed at resisting the British rule through non-violence and non-cooperation and its main objective was to boycott everything connected with the British government. It include boycott of foreign goods and use of Swadeshi goods. Boycott of government educational institutions, surrender of the titles and honorary offices. Popularizing charkha, playing and yarn spinning. Progress Many students boycott their educational institution, lawyers gave up their profession and a number of people surrendered their titles and resigned from honorary offices. People organized bonfire of foreign clothes and goods. Conclusion Though the movement by and large was peaceful, yet an excited mob attacked 
a police outpost on February 5, 1922 at Chori Chora in UP killing about 20 constables Gandhi ji felt that the movement had lost its path of non violence apprehending similar troubles in other parts of the country he announced suspension of the movement outcome the non cooperation movement converted the freedom struggle into a mass movement it gave people to weapons of non cooperation and non violence ahimsa and strengthen the hindu muslim unity civil disobedience movement 1930 in december 1929 the indian national congress decided to start the civil disobedience movement for complete independence or purna swaraj from the british rule the party also decided to observe 26 january 1930 as a complete independence day under the leadership of gandhi ji the civil disobedience movement was launched in early 1930 it began with the dandi march on 12th march 1930 gandhi ji and his followers left the sabarmati ashram at ahmedabad and made their way towards dandi after traveling a long distance they reached dandi on 6th april 1930 Here Gandhi ji protested against the salt law of the government making salt himself the throwing up a challenge to the british government the dandi march was the beginning of the civil disobedience movement in response to gandhi ji call for the civil disobedience the people of india in large number took part in the movement the satyagrahis took procession held meetings boycott foreign goods with help payment of revenue picketed before the liquor shops and violated restraint orders of the government thousands of women also participated in the movement this panicked the government the government resorted the use of force in order to suppress the agitation mass arrests torture fire lathi charges became common the congress was outlawed On 5th May 1930 Gandhi ji and other top leaders of the Congress were arrested and put in jails. However, the country was becoming restless with each passing day and finally Gandhi ji and the other leaders were released from jails in the last week of January 1931. Eventually on 5th March 1931 the Gandhi Irwin Pact was signed. the indian national army do subhash chandra bose had been president of the indian national congress in 1937 and 1939 he and many other leaders of the congress party had differences with the other majority group in the congress on certain matters subhash chandra bose left the congress and formed a new party named all india forward bloc He secured support of Germany and Japan to fight the British in India. For this purpose, he organized the Indian National Army, the INA, fought the troops of the British government in northeastern India and recorded many victories. However, with the surrender of Japan in 1945, INA's operations stopped. Bose is believed to have died in a plane crash, but the circumstances of his death are not clear. Quit India Movement 1942 In March 1942 the talks between the Cripps Mission and the Congress failed because they did not address the key demand of a timetable of self government in India In August 1942 Gandhi ji launched the Quit India Movement demanding an immediate end of the British rule in India His mantra do or die inspired the masses in a big way to join the movement every man woman and child began dreaming of a free india large scale protests and demonstrations were held all over the country workers went on strike at some places government buildings were set on fire electricity was cut and communication lines were severed the government's response was swift and oppressive the congress party was banned its leader including gandhi ji were sent to jail 
people were beaten and flogged by december 1942 about 1 lakh people were jailed but the movement had united the whole country causing fear among the british rulers the british released gandhi ji in 1944 who demanded the complete release of the congress leadership the world war 2 had weakened the economic and military strength of the british empire the leaders in the united kingdom realized that it was no longer possible to carry on the rule in india by early 1947 they set free all political prisoners finally india gained its freedom on 15th august 1947 india's independence in 1947 to 1950 on 3rd june 1947 the viceroy lord mount betten announced the partition of india into two countries union of india and islamic pakistan in this partition many people were killed and separated from their families on 26th january 1950 india adopted his constitution and became a republic since then we have seen celebrating the republic day on 26th january every year so children it's time for looking back in 1885 indian national congress was founded at the initiative of a o hume after world war 1 the black act named as rolect act was introduced by the british government in april 1919 the jallianwala bagh massacre took place lokmanya tilak introduced the concept of swaraj to his countrymen sir sayed ahmed khan founded a college in aligarh in 1857 and launched a movement for the upliftment of muslims in india india adopted its own constitution on 26 january 1950 and became a republic so students it's time to say bye so we'll meet in the next class